Well, it's about uh, changing the cross-section of the material using a hammer and an anvil and top tools like chisels and uh, different things to push and separate the metal with and just form it into the shapes that you like or that are functional, yes. Hmm, well, a lot of thinking, of course, but uh, the inspiration is just uh, the anxiousness to get um, into it and, and to discover how things are going to be pushed around and formed into, into you know, pleasable shapes. I think about the focus of what I, where I'm hitting, what I'm doing, the temperature of my fire, the, the color of the, the, the steel. Hmm. Improvise. Adjust the sails. Catch the wind and keep going. Well, I come here. This is my safe haven. This is my creative space. This is my environment that I uh, am the most relaxed in. And so, this is, uh, this is like a big boy's clubhouse to me. And um, when I'd really get inspired, I tend to move um, like there's no time. Um, time just passes as, as freely as everything else. I think that must have been my grandfather, Medardo Ortiz. And uh, he was a general contractor and allowed me to use tools from the time I was very small. He taught me a good work, work ethic and uh, always allowed me to make mistakes without reprimand. So he was very, very kind to me and very inspirational. Keep blacksmithing. Woodworking. I've been woodworking for 40 years as well. So, And uh, the two go very well together. So I'll just keep doing what I'm doing. I think one of my best projects is, is actually passing the, the craft on. I get the most satisfaction out of that, really. Um, and actually, the project, the project of teaching is a big project, yes. Well, it basically, it would be my body. Once my body gives out and, and I can't do it, then I, then I won't. But I can still teach it. <laughs>